Hey what's up guys welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I have the iPhone 11 and I have the Samsung S10 Plus. So I've compared the cameras on both these phones and I'm going to show you all of the different capabilities of each of the lenses that it comes with. So I've taken pictures with the main wide camera. I've also taken with the ultra wide camera on each of these phones. I've also done video recording of me walking and running. I've done some audio tests to see how the sound quality is. So if you wanted to jump straight into any one of those categories, you can have a look in the description below. I've linked each of them at specific timings. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you a review in, and a conclusion of which one is the best. If you wanted to have a look at more pictures and comparisons in detail then do pause the video i will get through them quite quickly and at the end of this video i'll go through which one has the better pictures and video qualities and i'll cover things like portrait modes and that kind of stuff so let's just get straight into it my hands are tied and you resonate inside my bones don't know why i'm incapable why you're unstoppable so it's uh, quite windy I just want you to see if uh, the wind is picked up on the phones itself so have a look in the top corners of the screen to see which audio is currently playing either the iPhone or the Samsung S10 and let me know what you guys think so I'm going to be switching between both audios just to give you an idea if you are recording using the front selfie cameras 
maybe you're vlogging or you're out somewhere then uh, it will give you an idea of what the audio quality is like in each of these phones but also try and have a look at the uh, stabilization on the front camera as well which one looks a little bit smoother than the other one which one's a little bit more shaky let me know in the uh, comments below all right guys so as you can clearly see the portrait pictures whether used in the front camera or the back camera is much better on the iphone 11. i've also done a review on the video stabilization and from my perspective they are very close and i think the samsung s10 plus is a little bit better in the stabilization factor i think from the video quality the iphone 11 does do a very good job and i'm going to be doing another video very soon to compare this in nighttime conditions in very low lighting so keep an eye out for that one in terms of the actual main cameras for both the wide and the ultra wide, I think they're very close. I think both of them have done a very good job, but I will give it to the iPhone 11. It does have a bit of a better focal length and you do get more of the picture into the uh, viewpoint. So overall, in conclusion, the winner is the iPhone 11. And uh, if you guys think any differently, then do let me know why in the comments below. And just give me your feedback on which camera, which video you think is better overall and uh, let me know what you think. I'll have other videos coming up for the uh, reviews with iPhone 11 with other new smartphones such as the Google Pixel 4. So keep an eye out for that. So that's about it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the other videos I have upcoming. I'm sure you're gonna like them. Make sure you like this video as well. I thank you for your support and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.